What's up outdoorsy dudes? Today we're going to be talking about bear safety. Just a disclaimer, I am not a bear expert. I'm a guy with a cool hat and a guy who read a book. So, please do not substitute these videos as any kind of formal bear education. Go read some books yourself, talk to some experienced hikers and backpackers, and maybe even consider a formal course before going into the backcountry. Episode 1 will talk about trip planning and a number of things that you want to consider when you're planning a trip. Okay, so the first thing you want to look at is the mindset of the people in your group. What is everyone's experience in bear country? Are they just a day hiker? Do they do the occasional backpacking trip? Or are they uh, some legend of the mountains who just materializes at the summit of each hill? The next question I would ask is, what is everyone's comfort level and risk acceptance? Some people are totally willing to go on a solo trip overnight, five nights, six nights at a time by themselves and have no issue with just their bear spray and listening to a podcast. And other people get frightened when they hear a noise around the corner of a canyon. Make sure you know who you're going with and what they find acceptable. And the last question here, is how would people react if you were to come in contact with the bear? Some people are more likely to panic than others. Some might want to run instinctively when you might know that that is exactly the wrong thing to do if the bear is aware of you. So make sure that you have some kind of plan set out for the group that everybody is aware of and everyone will agree to if a bear does come in your area. The next thing you want to look at is group size. The size of your group is your best single defense against an unpleasant encounter. I'm going to shoot some facts at you straight out of the book. There has never ever been a fatality in a group of four or more, and there has never been an injury or fatality in a group of six or more. So I don't really have to say it. Going by yourself is clearly the riskiest thing you can do, and going with a group of 10 is going to be the safest thing that you can do. And try not to just invite people as a barrier, as someone who's slower than you at running. You want the trip to still be enjoyable, so only bring people along who are actually going to want to be there and who are going to be okay with the risk that they are accepting. The next thing, and the most important, is definitely research. You want to find out, are there bears in the area that we plan to go? So you can call parks offices and find out how recently have, been, have bears been sighted. Were they black bears or grizzly bears? How frequent are bears in this area? Some areas along a trail are more bear active than other areas along a trail. So if you're doing a four-day backpacking trip, maybe day two is the day when you need to be most alert. Um, sometimes people will show up for a day hike and the area will be closed due to a bear uh, and they could have called ahead and found out about this. Right? I see this a lot at Rawson Lake, right by uh, Upper Kananaskis Lake in Alberta where it's regularly closed for grizzly bears or black bears and people show up wondering, how come I didn't know about this? Well, you probably didn't call in advance. The next thing you want to be sure of, especially for multi-day trips, is where am I allowed to camp and what do I have to do when I'm camping? So some parks will allow you to random camp, pitch your tent wherever you like. Some parks require you to use a designated campsite, which requires a booking in advance. Uh, some parks require the use of a bear canister for your food storage. Some do not. Some campgrounds will have uh, bear lockers for your food. Some won't. Sometimes you'll have to do a bear hang. There's a lot of stuff to know about where you're going, so you want to figure all of this out as soon as you can. Because if you get to a campsite, you don't have a bear canister, there could be hefty fines, or you could have to turn around and go home. And the last thing, basically another disclaimer, you can't sue anyone. No matter how much you want to, your responsibility is your own in bear country, and you are responsible for your own safety.